Mr Barroso, we have enjoyed a series of pantomime exchanges on the euro. Every time I predicted that a country would need a bailout, you have come back and said, oh no, they do not. Everything is fine. And, and now we face the fourth bailout, the second Greek bailout, unless, of course, today you are going to tell us that is not necessary either. But the question I want to ask you today is perhaps far more serious than anything that has happened in Greece or Ireland or Portugal to date. And it is the real debt crisis, the real sovereign debt crisis that we may face within the next few weeks, and that is the integrity of the European Central Bank itself. Month after month I have warned that you can't go on buying up vast quantities of your own bad debt. Mr Barroso, do you accept that the finances of the European Central Bank and its integrity is now in a serious and parlous state? No, I don't accept. I think the European Central Bank is a very credible institution that has been managed with great uh, wisdom and intelligence. And I think the independence of the ECB is respected by all the member states of the euro area. And, of course, we know that there are some difficulties in the euro area. As I have already said, they are not only difficulties of the euro area, to be fair. Unfortunately, your criticism to the euro area is always ideological. The problems of the debt are not exclusive. The euro area, has, uh, on average, the debt is lower, for instance, than the, the debt of Britain, to give an example. So, but in fact, we have differ the different problems because it's the first time we have this kind of, of monetary union uh, without, of course, a, some more integrated um, institutional um, setting. That's precisely why we are now trying to have a comprehensive response, and the ECB is part of that uh, effort that we are making to uh, give stability, financial stability to the euro area. Backing up some of my rhetoric, just yesterday the respected think tank Open Europe came out with some figures on this, and it said that of the ECB's exposure, a staggering 190 billion euros is exposure to the Greek state and Greek banks. Should the ECB see the value of its assets fall by just 4.25%, its entire capital base will be wiped out. Do you accept the findings of Open Europe, or do you go along with Mr Juncker's assertion a couple of weeks ago that with the situation in the euro being as serious as it is, you actually have to lie in public? First of all, uh, I don't lie, and the Commission has always been very consistent in information we have been giving about all the situations. The situation is difficult. We have said it honestly from the beginning, very clearly, but we don't pretend the situation is a rosy one. Now, having said this, the European Central Bank credibility lies on the absolute determination of the euro area governments to do whatever it takes to assure the financial stability of the euro area. And so I have no doubts about the sustainability of the efforts in the euro area and the credibility of the European Central Bank. I have no doubts about the capacity of the European Central Bank to uh, defend the European interests and also the commitment of the member states of the euro area to provide all the guarantees the European uh, Central Bank needs to fulfil its independent role of our Central Bank. And in terms of exposure of central banks to debt, I have to tell you there are other central banks in Europe and outside of Europe that are in a much, much more difficult and vulnerable situation than the European Central Bank. It's a credible, respected, internationally very respected body of the European Union. Thank you.